Hello, everyone. We are today. We are today. Today we are. Today we are going to um, a weird New Jersey. Right? It's a weird New Jersey. It's not a weird New Jersey. We're going to Art the Brisbane Children's Hospital. It's an abandoned children's hospital. It's been for some time now. Uh, patients that were there are still alive today. It's not like a 1800s children's hospital, but um, it's abandoned. It's closed in 2006. Closed in 2006. Kind of restricted. <laughs> we're gonna see if we can take a look try to get as close as possible. Today we've got Dan. Hello. And we've got Snarlax. <laughs> Snarlax? And I think for a little bit of context, a little bit of fun, let's do a, uh, a history recap real quick. Um, okay, here you go. In 1907, Arthur Brisbane purchased land in the pursuit of building his dream home. When he passed, his land was donated to the state of New Jersey and is now known as the Lair State Park. However, on the other side of the park remains what's left of Brisbane's property. Originally being groomed to house veterans, what was left of Brisbane's property was instead used as a children's psychiatric hospital. On the outside, things seemed fine for many years, until in 1986, a litigation was filed for alleged deaths. After evaluation, the truths about the hospital were revealed. Just the living conditions for the children would have been enough to shut the place down. Add on the physical and mental mistreatment and aggression, and you have in your hands an evil pit of torture and malice. Considering this place a hospital as opposed to a prison camp is moot. This place is just incredible. Like, the scenery, the green is so, like, alive. And the, this trail, just walking through it, it's incredible. Like, look at all this green. It is so pretty. And it just cuts off right there, you see that? Wow. Yeah, what? What is that? This is already getting so creepy. Yeah, don't take it sticks. I'm not taking anything. Let's give it. Can we give it a stick? Is that a good idea? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Find stuff. Wait, what? What were you saying about like New Jersey and stuff? Well, like, remember when I read about the pit, like the pig family that was a that was cannibals? Yeah. What is that? Is that a skull? Yeah. Yeah, that is an. So what are you saying about Jersey? About the pig cannibal family, that's why I don't like that. <laughs> oh. This mill run thing, going directly towards that apparently. Right, we're getting a little lost, but I think we found a way. We're going towards a, a building, it might just be a house, we're not sure. That's uh, where we're going. Okay, so we we just found something, and it's I th we think it's one of the places, one of the buildings. All right, so we're gonna go into the building that says trap, but um we gotta be quiet because we don't know who's here, if anyone is at all. You think these were the cottages for the boys and the girls? Because they said that they were behind the main building, but there's supposedly tunnels under here. Tunnels? Yeah, I'm not kidding. For what reason? To tunnel them back and forth to the main building. Jeez. Past like. Like children that used to be here, um, they would talk about the tunnels. They'd be like bust, uh, not bust, but like underneath the fucking road. That is so creepy. Now, this is probably just all from vandals, you know? There's a human-sized hole. What? Oh my gosh. So we found a, uh, we found a crawl space, but like it was an opening in, inside the house. I, I don't know too many crawl spaces that open from inside the house. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't look like there's enough room for too much movement. Yeah, you know? I kind of want to look in there though. This is really cool. Um, it is kind of creepy, but it's the reason why it's so cool in my perspective is that it's 
modern. It's like not like, oh, that was a bird. Like usually you see stuff like this that's really old, but it's not. It's weird. Because everybody said that there was a horse buried back here who actually went here. So it's probably in here somewhere. Look at this. It's all like a kid's. Is that like bulletproof glass? Like why is nothing there? Like look at this glass. Why? Oh, there's a fly. Why is it so hard to break? Like this is some serious stuff right now. There's no reason why the glass would be that thick. Okay, so we checked out um, that small place over there. Now we're headed to the main building. So what do, what do they do to be like closed down? The bullet. They had many allegations from parents because they thought that they were sending their kids somewhere safe to get help. Uh -huh. And a lot of them came back worse, never got out of here, <laughs> or had surgeries that weren't even um, approved by anybody. And was it a specific type of hospital or just like they do anything? A psychiatric yeah, 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 type yeah, stuff. Yeah. So they, a lot of the times, especially back then, they called it for the feeble-minded. Um, it had a lot to do with making it sound good, but basically their brains don't work the way they're supposed to, so let's try and fix them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's water. Drain, it's drain water. It's really scary. I don't know if you could hear me that well, but uh, it sounded like there was a whispering down here. It sounded like there was whispering down here, but it was just water. And the alarms, the alarms just keep going off. Let me try to explain to you how creepy this is. We are walking through here, and we're not even going through all of the doors because the rooms look like they go forever, and they're really dark, and we're just not about that right now. And I'm, I'm trying to watch where I'm going. There's stuff all over the floor. Oh, man. This is the stairs. Why are there chairs and a desk over here? Check it out. What? Looks like hands praying. Yeah, there's right there. Yeah, look, the lights are still on. Like, they should have died by now, you know? Okay, let's go. Jeez. Let me tell you, this place is insane. We're seeing so much stuff, it's really creepy, and the entire time we're on edge, because we don't know if normal people are gonna find us, or, I don't know, but it's just, this could be. When I feel badly, I go lock myself in the bathroom. I like to pretend to be at home cooking. Did I say cooking? Too many times I've been hurt. I got raped. Isaac Thompson, a nine-year-old black boy, was available was evaluated by Arthur Brisbane Child Treatment Center. This is 1977. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. What the hell? This is creepy. Damn, where are you? We're just, we're just walking on papers. This is crazy. What does it say? It looks like a check-in sheet. This is just like doctor's comments on the papers. I'm telling you, what an adventure. There's papers everywhere. Everything is obviously in ruins. God. Computer parts, 
Broken windows, beds, clothes. There's a bike right there. Just gotta be careful. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been Arthur Brisbane's Children's Hospital uh, Expedition, I guess. I don't know. Um, stay tuned. Weekly updates with a whole bunch of things like this. This is our first one. It's really interesting, very creepy. If you want to check it out or try to check it out, it's near Alaire State Park, New Jersey. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. If you're interested, check out my other channels down in the description below, and that'll be about it. Peace.